uh, the Egyptian understandings, I learned a lot. Uh, I found out that, uh, and this is all history, it's uh, science, it's fact. Uh, if you study very carefully, <clears throat> you realize that all the ideas that Jesus were holding were, were part of um, Egyptian philosophy, right down to baptism and everything else. It was all part of it. And the Egyptians knew that Jesus was coming as early as 500 B.C. They were planning on it. They sent missionaries around the world. The Coptics were the first ones, were, which were the first Christians, um, first ones to uh, come out of that whole thing. They were Egyptian. Uh, the Essenes came out of Egypt also. And they were directly, Egypt, they were all Egyptian coming out of there and they went to Masada in Israel. There you see the flower of life on the, on the surface of the floor of their first church they ever built. And, uh, and the Essenes were uh, deeply involved in, in Jesus coming also 500 B.C. And, uh, and then also the ISIS group that, that left and went into England in 500 B.C. This was a plan where they set these whole things up. Uh, eventually, uh, Jesus was brought to uh, England. That was, that's recorded in, uh, scientifically one time. There's two times, they say, but they can't prove the second time. And what came out of all of that uh, uh, when Jesus uh, went into uh, England was essential because of his connection with the Druids. Uh, the Druids were the ones that actually started the Christian church. Without the Druids, there would be no church. It, but that history has been not talked about very much. Uh, the, the biggest church, the first church ever built, was built on the land that the Druids gave to, to, uh, to Joseph of Ar Arimathea, who was Jesus' uncle, who was a multimillionaire and had ships and ten mines and everything. <clears throat> and they, um, uh, Jesus was brought to England and uh, introduced to uh, uh, Merlin, who was... Merlin is a title like the Dalai Lama. There's been many Merlins. And introduced the Merlin at that time. And then they gave them land at the base of the Torah, uh, which, uh, which was where the first Christian church was ever built. And that's the Abbey at Glastonbury. And it was the biggest church ever built in the history to this date, too. And, uh, and then it was the monks from the Aston Glastonbury Air Abbey that went to, to Rome and built the first church there. And so uh, uh, the, the, the true history of what's behind the Christian church is, is, has a lot to do with the Druid religion and, and a vast amount to do with, with Egypt. 